Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like down well makeup, beauty, and skincare. For today's video, I shall be talking to you guys about some of the highlights of my February makeup basket. Share some updates, some looks that I did, and the products you most use, ko, least use. And the learnings ko from this selection that I could use in order for the next curation to be, you know, a better one. And then later on this video, I will show you guys through my collection. We shall be picking some items for the next month. Focus ko lang talaga yung attention ko to what I have, give them some love, and not look into the new things that I don't really need. This is what I'm trying to do here sa akong channel. I'm currently in a no-buy. I'm also doing a project pan for this year. If you like those types of content, I hope that you subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on the notification bell to press it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. Okay guys, I think I know how I want to do this type of video. So shopping my stash, monthly makeup basket. Niko alam talaga ako ng name nato. Niko pala. What do you think about makeup monthly picks? Does it help make you think na ano siya, shop my stash ba siya na type of curated picks hindi siya favorite picks so let me know na lang kung ano sa tingin niyo baka kasi confusing siya with favorites let's uh, start first with some of the highlights some of the makeup looks that i made any thoughts about the curation na ginawa ko from last month honestly nagstruggle ako in using these up a little bit pero i make up muna tayo pick 3 palettes and then this virago skins na liquid eyeshadow ay this multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow so starting off with these ones siguro ang pinaka most used ko doon sa palettes ko is ito itong dalawa this one not so much i've only used this twice but let's start talking about itong si Udin's eye that's makeup corner na collaboration so this is what it looks like ganyan siya i really want to focus more on pinks and purples this month but i want to have the option of greens in here so gumawa rin ako ng green look dito guys i'm just gonna show you some pictures that i made ayan i really like that look kasi syempre it's greens and i haven't done greens masyado so Ayan, ito yung tatlong um, eyeshadows na finocus ko. And then, meron na naman akong ginawang look, um, I think, together with the Virago Skins, the one all over the lid. Yan siguro yung pinakatumatak sa akin na look because I really like using itong Virago Skins. This beats uh, this one in terms of number of uses. Parate ko talaga itong nini-reach. Ang dali lang niya lang din talaga kasi gamitin. I'm also using this on my eyes. So for my eyes, ito yung ginamit ko. I'm wearing Hattie, this one. Para siyang glittery look lang sa eyes ko. Ang ganda niya. And then I also have Cosmos. Yun yung ginamit ko sa outer corner ko and inner corner. Para akong gumawa ng halo eye. Pero hindi siya ganun kahalatang halo eye. I use the Virago Skins dito sa aking inner corner. I hope that you can see that there's a small dot there na parang very vibrant peach lang on my eyes. Um, moving on to the second most used na eyeshadow palette. Yung first look na ginawa ko dito is using the silver shade. Like, I really wanna try silver shade. It's black and gray. Yun talaga yung dalawang hindi ko gusto masyadong suotin. Kasi I don't think that gray uh, or silver looks good for my skin tone kasi medyo warm ang aking skin tone. And this one is more on the cool side. Mukha siyang icy. And ayun, I tried to do it pa rin, pero I don't think that I like the look masyado. I am wearing Delish. Ayan, this one on my eyes and this one too. For that look ha. So, itong tatlo yung ginamit ko. I still haven't used all of the shadows in this palette. Sadly, kasi medyo marami akong eyeshadows at the moment na tinitest. And yun yung prioritize ko. Kung ano yung ginawa ko this month is basically just looking at kung ano yung i-review ko. Try to use that first and then find whatever is complementary dito sa aking monthly makeup picks. Pinipilit ko lang talaga yung name na yan, pero let me know what you think about that name to call this whatever I'm doing. And then one thing that I really really like though is this one. Diba? Mukha siyang brown, right? 
Pero it's actually purplish. Dito sa look na ginawa ko dun sa isa sa Get Ready With Me, at least makikita nyo kung paano ko siya ginawa. This one actually looks very purple. Especially if you blended it out. I think pwede siyang magbukhang brown if you pair it with brown shades. But if you pair it with periwinkles or pink looks, magbumuka siyang purple. So, it's very interesting that shade, ah. Na, in, natuwa ko with that shade. Hindi pa ako totally na-satisfied dun sa paggamit nito. Like, gusto ko pa siyang gamitin, but I know that I need to move on and try different eyeshadows. Like, I can keep this if I want dun sa next rotation, pero I feel like I wanna do something else kasi puro purples and puro blues na talaga ako this month. The least used eyeshadow sa aking makeup monthly picks, for this month at least, is this one. I think I only used this twice. Like, there's one look that I did with this palette. Pero isang shade lang yung ginamit ko. And it's in this look pa. So, hindi siya ganun ka. Hindi, hindi ako ganun ka satisfied talaga with my use for this one. I used passion for that look. <laughs> So, yan lang. Yan lang nagamit ko doon. Basically, it's quite sad. It's on the verge of decluttering na itong palette na to. Like, eh, pag tinitignan ko talaga siya, it's so pretty, it's so beautiful, pero hindi ko talang talaga siya nagamit. So, for this look, um, paired with the shades that I mentioned dito kanina, I use Soul sa aking lower lash line, and then tinap ko siya with Celestial. And then dito sa aking crease, sa upper lids, I used C Volatile, this gray mauve shade. So, that's it for the eyes. Wala akong pinik for my brows. So, hindi na ako nag-shop my stash for blushes. So, wala akong blushes. Wala rin akong bronzer. For highlight, meron naman akong pinili na highlight. This one, unfortunately, hindi ko siya ganun ka nagamit. I think I only used this twice. I initially planned to use this sana for my eyeshadows. Pero kasi ang dami ko ng eyeshadows na pinili for my shop my stash. It's really too eyeshadow heavy. And then, ang dami ko pang eyeshadows dun sa aking review bin. So, parang hindi ko na siya na-prioritize. I only used this twice for my highlighter. I'm, I'm wearing one right now. I don't think that you could see the duochrome effect niya sa aking cheeks because the lights that I have right now sa aking setup medyo bright. Pinilit kong gamitin si Spectra for my eyes today. So, siya yung pink dito sa aking gilid. So, parang Spectra and then I also used yung Virago dun sa aking inner corner. So, for the complexion products, ilang beses ko nagamit to. I'm so happy na nagagamit ko siya. It's one of the products na nakalimutan ko na how good it is. My skin has has not been doing so well in terms of hyperpigmentation. Like, I have this scars dito sa aking chin, dito sa aking cheek. This helps in evening out my skin tone. I actually like this. Mukha talaga siyang second skin sa akin. I always use a brush for this uh, cushion. I don't like using the puff. Gusto ko na nga itapon yung puff. So far, this is really, really good. Putting this in this monthly rotation helped me remember how good this was. How, how I enjoyed that one. Yung AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. Unfortunately, hindi ko to masyadong nagamit because I always reach out for my Laura Mercier na powder. I just really enjoyed that one. Maybe it's because of the packaging rin. I don't like the packaging that this one comes in kasi sobrang messy niya. Yung Laura Mercier is more on that convenient packaging. So, ayun. I think I only use this twice. This is the second time that I'm using it. So, medyo, mm, medyo unsatisfactory yung gamit ko dito. Kung dumating kasi yung Clush Flame na powders, mas kinoconcentrate ko na gamitin yung powder. You know, it's not like eyeshadows that I can mix and match, do combinations, use two palettes in a look. You can only use one for each look, di ba? The two concealers that I have, of course, this is going to be the most used product out of all my base products. Concealers kasi wala siyang kakompetensya. Wala akong concealer na review Wala rin akong concealer dun sa aking project pan. So, ito lang. Ito lang talaga yung dalawang concealers na ginagamit ko all the time. I combine these. Actually, I love using this one. Yung Happy Skin Multitasking Serum Concealer. The one that I have is Light Beige. It's not the best match sa akin. It is so good when canceling out yung aking dark circles. Lagang nagmumukhang hindi ako puyat. Pero nagkukulang siya sa brightening na for my under eyes. Pero pwede siya for concealing my cheeks. Yan, yung mga scars ko dyan sa face ko. Okay siya. Binamatch ko siya with the Vice Cosmetics one to brighten up my under eyes kasi this one I like to brighten my under eyes. These two concealers have been very very good to me. I really love them. Sobrang lightweight lang. For my lips, yung itong lip category talagang hindi ko masyadong nagamit. Like, out of all the categories that I have, 
my base products, my eye products. Ito talaga yung hindi ko masyadong nagamit. It's just that ang dami ko kasi talagang lip products na for review. So for this one, I only use this once. And that is yung sa Get Ready With Me na ginawa ko. Yung latest kong video. I'm gonna link that video here. And also down below so that you could just check out what I did. Next up is tong Stroke Silk Kiss in Marionette Pink. This is the lip color that I'm actually wearing right now. It looks super pink na kasi I've been wearing this lip color for so long. Kaya ganito na yung itsura niya. Nag-sustain to actually sa aking lips. Only used it once. Hindi ko masyadong nagamit. Moving on dito sa ating Glasting Water Tint in Romand. So these two, I, I think I only used one of them. And I think it's Pink Valley. Ito yung look na ginawa ko. Ayan. This is the look that I made. I really placed this sa aking monthly picks just so ma-refresh yung memory ko dun sa kanyang formula. Medyo same-ish product siya dun sa Juicy Do Tints ng Chuchu which I'm trying to test and review for you guys. Those are all so, the products that I tried this month at paano ko siya ginamit. Siguro ang key takeaway ko lang dito is that I know na because of my project pan, because of my review bin, mas pinaprioritize ko lang talaga sila. I think I have a lot of eyeshadows, lip products din here, considering what I have sa aking review bin. I just feel like I need to curate it better in a way na nadadalawa lang sila, not much competition in a sense that I don't have a lot of similar products dun sa aking rotation right now. I don't know kung naiintindihan niyo yung sinasabi ko, but ayun, yun siya. So having said that, let's move on to pick the makeup. Okay, it's time to pick out some items for this rotation. So, ang theme ko for this month, I want to feel expensive and I want to feel bougie. Since we're doing that theme, I shall be picking first ito Charlotte Tilbury um, Hot Kiss 2 in the shade Glowing Gin. I've had this for a while now and pwede pa naman siya. Ganyan yung itsura niya kasi I made that mistake of putting the cap. Kahit hindi pa nakababa yung bullet. So, ayun. Kaya ganyan siya ngayon right now. And I wanna wear this. I wanna feel expensive. And ito na siguro yung pinakamahal kong uh, lip product dito sa aking collection. So, this one from Estee Lauder. I haven't actually worn this a lot yet. Pero ito, I wanna try this one. Itong Pure Color MV nila in the shade Hot Kiss. So, ganyan siya. O, oh, ba? Very, very pretty. And these are the two lip products that I shall be choosing for this round. Because, of course, I don't want to add a lot of lip products to my collection. And that's that. Ganun to lang muna tayo. So, for this drawer, since wala naman akong super luxury brand dito, I shall be choosing naman a look that I wanted to create for quite a while now. Ito yung Tri Palette from Julia's Place. I have not use this at all. As in, makikita mo naman how barely touched. It looks so brand new. I have, I have this for years na and I haven't even reached for this um, quite a lot. So, gagamitin ko na lang ito. And the next palette that I want to use is Jackie Aina's palette uh, in collaboration with Anastasia. So, ganito yung itsura niya. Ayan, this one I used a little bit. Please gamit na siya looking compared to the Juvia's Place one. But this is something that I want to use. And ayun, gusto ko ang vibe ko for this month is pinks and greens. And I like na meron siyang mga reds here. May mga pinks siya, may purples pa rin siya. But there are more muted uh, browns here. Mga deep shades siya. And the, dito naman is puro greens and then oranges. I think that it would match well with these two palettes. But then, ano, I think I will be reaching out for some of my eyeshadows dito sa aking collection because I wanna recreate a look that I have in mind. So when I share my highlights na lang for this rotation, doon ko na lang share sa inyo kung ano yung mga pinull out ko pa from this drawer aside. So, okay, for this drawer, this is where I have my face products, complexion products, blush, bronzer, highlight, powders, concealers, ganyan. Nandito sila lahat. So, the theme is bougie makeup. I'm not so sure kasi kung gusto kong gumamit ulit ng powder since I already have three powders na nakalabas. So, that is yung project pan ko ng powder, yung Laura Mercier, tapos dalawa in my review bin, yung Clutch Claim. So, baka hindi mo na ako magpa-powder for this month. I'm just gonna 
move on doon sa blushes ko na lang and stuff. Ito na lang, si Fenty na lang gagamitin ko. Gusto ko na rin itong mahit pan actually. So, ito so I'll just use this one. Si Hustla Baby. And then, for my blush, I wanna use this one. Yung Strokes Beauty Lab Crush Blush in the shade Fatal. I really like this blush. Since maglalabas na si Get Ready With Me ng blush na ganitong kulay, I am actually excited about this one. NARS Sex Appeal Liquid Blush. I'm not so sure kung bagay siya dun sa look na gagamitin ko, but since this is very, very pale, I think babagay naman siya. So, okay lang naman siguro yun. I actually wanna use either one of my Laura Gellers for this one sana, pero ito na lang muna. And ang dami ko pa kasing blush na for review, Chushu Beauty pa lang, diba? Gaano ka daming blush na yun? And meron pa from Vice Cosmetics. So, yan na lang muna. Not so much on my clay blushes, but I really need to work on these ones. Itong mga cream blushes ko kasi mabilis sila mag-expire. And then, for my foundation, ito yung gagamitin ko. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. So, ito yung full coverage nila. I'm in the shade 2W1 Dawn if you guys are interested. For concealer, I really wanna use itong si BLK. It's my least favorite concealer right now. Not my favorite kasi hindi talaga maganda yung color match niya sa akin. Pero I feel like pwede to siguro for my blemishes, etc. I need something for my under eyes. So for my under eyes, I wanna use itong si Butter. Si Get Ready With Me Cosmetics Radiant Sin in the shade Butter. I could use ito siguro yung Izzy Co. But I really combine itong dalawa. Si FW1 and FO2 for my under eyes. And I think so sobrang dami na. Si BLK Life Proof Airy Concealer cor Correct and Cover in shade buttermilk tapos itong si get ready with me radiant tint in the shade butter so pareha silang butter and butter is luxurious naman right so might as well use this <laughs> so that is it that is everything that i want to pick out from all my drawers i hope that this video inspires you to use your current collection especially if you have been neglecting your products i think that it's a good exercise i know that a lot of people have been doing this now on instagram and i'm so excited because it's it's really inspiring thank you so much for watching this and i hope to see you in our next video much love bye bye